Cinemagraphs are an exciting medium that blend photography and video together in amazing new ways. They are composed like a photo and then brought to life with a subtle hint of motion. Cinemagraphs capture your attention, vividly tell your story, and perform incredibly well in digital advertising and on social media. Hi, my name is Mahek. In this tutorial series, I am going to show you how to create a Cinemagraph using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for iOS. If this is the first time that you are using the app, you're in the right place. But if you're already familiar with it, I would recommend that you check out one of our other tutorials, which are better suited for more advanced users. But for newcomers, welcome! In this installment, I am going to show you the tools that you'll need, walk you through the entire Cinemagraph creation process, and demonstrate how to export and share your Cinemagraphs on social media, and upload your Cinemagraphs to your Flixel.com gallery. You need three things to create a Cinemagraph. First and foremost, you're going to need an iOS device, either an iPhone or an iPad. Secondly, you're going to need a tripod. Cinemagraphs are based in video footage, and a tripod ensures that the footage you record is perfectly still. Without that stability, you're going to see a clear separation between the photo and video elements of the cinemagraph, which is the exact opposite effect that we're trying to achieve. Finally, you're going to need Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for iOS, Cinemagraphs used to be difficult to create, but now with Cinemagraph Pro on your iPhone and iPad, you can create your very own high quality professional living photos on the go and in under five minutes. Imagine that, a powerful Cinemagraph creation tool right in your pocket. Now that we have everything we need to create our Cinemagraph, let's get started. For this tutorial, I created a living room set with two subjects, Aaron on the left and Cassandra on the right. The video I am shooting is composed in such a way that you can see a clear separation between the subjects. When creating a cinemagraph, you want to show that contrast between what's moving and what isn't. Sometimes it can be done subtly, but in this case, we will create one with a more obvious motion that can be easily edited. When thinking about the motion, try to come up with something that can be fluid and continuous so that you can unlock the mesmerizing power of your cinemagraph. Aaron raising his teacup and then moving it back down is a great option. Once you have determined your composition and movement, tap on the camera icon. You can use the menu options to help you frame and shoot your cinemagraph in the app. Use the grid lines as a guide to your framing. You can also alter the aspect ratio, which changes the crop of your cinemagraph to determine your shot. Change the frame rate setting based on whether you want to slow down the motion when editing your cinemagraph. If you are slowing down your motion, we recommend that you shoot at a frame rate of 48 frames per second or higher. For this cinemagraph, we will shoot at 24 frames per second to achieve a standard cinematic look. Keep in mind that when shooting at 60 frames and above, your iOS device will record in HD as opposed to 4K. When you are satisfied with your settings, press the red record button, which will record a short video for up to 10 seconds. Now, let's create a Cinemagraph using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for iOS. To get started, head over to the timeline just below your Cinemagraph. This is where you will select the video portion and still image for your Cinemagraph. The white frame, which is the trimmer, allows you to select the section and length of footage you would like to use for your Cinemagraph. Drag the handles to select the desired portion that contains your movement. Let's use these two seconds because they contain the motion that can be perfectly looped which is Aaron sipping on his tea. Use the white selector, which is the still image selector, to pick the still image from the footage. A good still component of any cinemagraph freezes movement mid-motion. Here, we will freeze Cassandra mid-pour. Once you are happy with the footage and still image, you can switch over to masking your cinemagraph. Masking is a magical process in Cinemagraph Pro. It simply brushes away the still image and reveals the video underneath. Select the brush tool in the menu above your cinemagraph. You will need to adjust the size of the brush so that you can mask the area as cleanly as possible, which you can do in the brush tab. Once you have, go ahead and mask. Paint over all of Aaron with a larger brush tool to show him endlessly sipping his tea, while Cassandra is in the middle of pouring tea into her cup. You can now see how photo and video blend together seamlessly in still footage. 
If you make a mistake, you can use the eraser tool in the top menu to erase anything you have masked. The same options available to the brush tool are available to the eraser tool. There are a few editing options that will help you determine the behavior and look of your cinemagraph. In this tutorial, we are only going to focus on a few of those options. To determine the behavior of your motion, select the loop that you would like to apply to your motion under the Timeline tab. A repeat loop means that the motion will play from the start point to the end point, then replays from the start point again. You can also edit the crossfade, delay, and speed of the motion as required. A bounce loop means that the motion will play from the start point to the end point, then from the end point back to the start point. In this cinemagraph, you will bounce the loop so that it looks like Aaron is continuously sipping on his tea. Now, let's make sure your cinemagraph is the perfect fit. Tap on the crop icon. Here, you can transform your cinemagraph with different options, including flip, crop, and rotate. Finally, let's add a little style to your cinemagraph. Select presets. Presets are a series of video filters that you can use as a quick fix to make your cinemagraph truly your own. When you're happy with your cinemagraph, head back to your cinemagraph document. It's time to show off your cinemagraph to the world. Here's how you can share it. There are three sharing options, export, upload, and share document. To export a cinemagraph file so that it's instantly shareable on social media, tap export. You can select the repetitions, file format, resolution, and frame rate to create a custom export. Or you can optimize your export based on the social media network. Simply tap on the appropriate icon to apply those settings. Then tap save to save it in your photo library. Upload your cinemagraph to your Flixel gallery by tapping the upload button. Your Flixel gallery is the best way to display your cinemagraphs on the web because they will loop infinitely. If you want Flixel to see your cinemagraphs and possibly feature them, set your cinemagraph to public. If you select share document, you can easily copy your cinemagraph documents over to another macOS or iOS device for editing. We love to see and feature stunning living photos across all of our social media channels. We also feature them in our galleries, which are viewed by millions every single month on Flixel.com and in Cinemagraph Pro for iOS. And just like that, you have created your very first Cinemagraph. Congratulations! Feel free to use the demo document as many times as you would like so that you can perfect everything that you have learned in this tutorial, including the timeline, looping, cropping, and presets. When you are confident with those concepts and ready to learn more, head over to the intermediate video in this tutorial series, where I will show you how to fine tune your editing skills on more precise and subtle motions in cinemagraphs. If you have any questions or want to know what else is going on in the world of cinemagraphs, feel free to connect with Flixel on our social media channels, where we share the latest tips, tricks, and news. Until next time,